Israeli spyware Pegasus has been under recent scrutiny across the globe. An Indian news portal has alleged authorities in the country likely spied on phones belonging to journalists, politicians and business leaders. It's Pegasus, it's a program so sophisticated that it can embed into your mobile phone through just one phone call, even if you don't take that call. The Pegasus malware infects electronic devices, enabling operators of the tool to obtain messages, photos and emails, record calls and even activate microphones. Here at home, it is being alleged that government has the technology in its artillery. The government did in fact acquire this software and they have been illegally spying on citizens. During the UNC's Monday night virtual report, opposition leader Kamala Pisabi Sessa claimed a whistleblower informed her that electronic spying was widespread. According to Rishi Maraj, managing director of privacy advisory services, a management consultancy company focused on data protection, there is a fine line between using software for security and spying. Whether or not this is being used in the government here in Trinidad and Tobago, I, I don't know about it. But obviously, where this technology like this existing that could be used for good, such as national security, it can also be, if not monitored properly, used for a bad reason. CNC3 News reached out to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to determine whether or not the Pegasus spyware technology is used and for what purpose. However, there was no response. According to former top cop Gary Griffith, the politicizing of intelligence gathering software is a cause for concern. When I was commissioner of police, a very senior government official uh, who may have been sleeping on each job and he, and he continues to do, continued to pressure me, harass me to, to appoint specific, a specific individual to lead such an intelligence unit. And that, I think, is irresponsible behavior. Griffith said he could not reveal whether this was done as it would breach national security. NSO, the creator of Pegasus, has denied wrongdoing and maintained it does not identify its clients. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News.